Yeshua blessings. So today, this takes two people to set up. But I set it up by myself. I laid it down on its side. And then I kicked it together. But I kicked so hard to get it together that one piece right there kind of came through to the other side. That's the dowel. Well, anyway, so I put it together. I clean it. And I start taking out books from boxes. I had four boxes. And I start taking out my books and my videos. And I'm putting them on the shelf. And my altars, I've been reading Kathy O'Brien's PTSD, A Time to Heal. And uh, I've been deprogramming intentionally. And so as I'm putting my books and CDs away, my altars are here. And we're taking stuff out of the box and putting them on the shelf. Then the box was empty. So I got the next box, put stuff away on the shelf. I empty the second box. When I get done emptying the boxes, my altars say, Holly, what do we do now? Everything's on the shelf. We got to put the box, books back in the box. And I say, whoa, hold on. No, you don't put stuff back in the box. My altars say, Holly, everything on the shelf is bare now. Everybody can see it. It's bare. And I say, that's okay. It, it's supposed to be on the shelf. You remember when we lived here on the farm, before we had to flee, we had everything on the shelf outside of the box, everything on the dresser. We had pictures hanging up. It's okay to do that. And my altars kept saying, no, we got to put it back in the box. We're going to have to leave. We got to put it back in the box. We can't have it on the shelf. We got to leave. Now, I was in three situations in 2019, and I'm not going to specify which of the three or all three or none of the above that I am discussing, but those three situations made a very bad impact on my altars. There was no place of recovery, okay? It was me living out of a bag and bouncing around. Do you know I bounced around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least seven, eight times between 20, no, 2019, 2019 alone, about seven times, seven times. The instability, people saying, oh, this is a place for recovery. No, it's not. No, it's not. Just because you know the words MK Ultra does not mean you understand an MK Ultra survivor. It does not mean that you've been around an MK Ultra survivor. It does not mean that you know anything about deprogramming. So when somebody asks you, do you know about MK Ultra? You say, yes, I've heard the word. I know the definition. But I have never had contact with a survivor. And you be honest. I've heard of the word, but I don't know any survivors. Don't say that you know how to deprogram someone and you don't. Don't say to someone that you'll be there for someone and you're not. Or you force and impose yourself, your beliefs, your lifestyle onto the victim. That's not, that's not right. So I was bounced around in 2019. And I was listening to people that said they knew more than me. Right? And, they, and if I didn't agree, they would throw me on a guilt trip. Or they would get out. Bible verses and cherry pick them, um, cherry pick holy Bible verses, throw them at me to try to get me to change my mind um, or to get me to do what they wanted. And I was constantly being bounced around and I didn't trust the atmosphere. I didn't trust the people I was around. It was safer for my stuff to stay in the box. And today I was taking stuff out in my altars. Oh my goodness. It was such a great feeling. Because I had the conversation, we're not going anywhere. We're home. We're here to stay. We're not moving. We're not leaving. You take your stuff, Holly, and you put it on the shelves and you leave it out and you throw those empty boxes away. We're home and it's okay. Holly, you're safe. You can deprogram now. There's nobody misguiding you or pressuring you. There's none of that. You have your own privacy and space and independence. And 
Oh boy, unpacking my stuff. I haven't seen my stuff since 2018. But I see it today. Oh, it's just so cool. I look around my house. I look at my dining room table. I look at my living room furniture. I look at my bedroom. And oh, it's so good to be home. And my altars are so happy to be home. Do you know it was a year ago? Um that I reached out to Kathy O'Brien, and then I had made a conscious decision to not deprogram because I was not around the right people. I was not at home. I was not in the right situation. There were people uneducated, ill-equipped, not prepared, and there were people that are not scripturally sound that I was around. My altars felt insecure, unstable. They, they felt very protective and... I lived out of a bag for a year. I bounced around and I did what other people wanted because they said they knew better. And meanwhile, it did nothing but damage me. Do you know that I have been home now since February, but it took me until December, 10 months to get it through to me and my altars that we are home. We are safe. We are not in those past atmospheres with those people from the past. We are here now and ever present. Now is the time to deprogram. I'm around my things. They're outside of a box. I'm not ashamed. I'm an ex-super soldier. There is nothing to be ashamed about. That stuff is not my fault. Oh, it's just so great. That feeling that I was having, telling my altars, no, you take this stuff out of the boxes. You leave it on your shelf bare, and you throw the boxes out. We are home, Holly. We are home. Home, 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 home. We're safe now. Now you can pick up deprogramming. Now you can pick up where you lift, left off with Yeshua. I mean, people were even trying to dictate to me my relationship with Yeshua. They even laughed at me. Meanwhile, they're praying for false doctrine of a rapture to come true and laughing at me for loving Yeshua, my golden bow, for I am his white hot silver arrow. We're married since December 12, 2014. Last year for my anniversary, I did not celebrate it because I was being spied on and watched and it felt icky to me. This year, I am celebrating my six-year anniversary with, anniversary with Yeshua, my golden bow, twofold to make up for last year. And it is so nice. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Like, I'm elated. And praise be to you, hey, Vav, hey, for Yeshua. All praise, glory, love, everything, all to Yeshua HaMashiach. Praise be to Abba. So... And it's really cool because I got one cubby hole right here specifically for my Bibles. But I've got more Bibles like in the car and sprawled out all over. But I'm home, guys. I even took out my pictures of my sister and grandparents and dad. I took my pictures out of my family and I set them up. And guys, thanks. Thank you for helping my altars and I. It is so great to be back home, not living out of a box, and knowing that I'm not moving again. This is it. This is it. I will occupy from this place until Yeshua HaMashiach returns. So, what a great day with my altars. What a great day. This is awesome. And a special thank you to my support system, my loved ones, and Kathy O'Brien for her book, PTSD, A Time to Heal. Because you know what? I'm healing. Again. Again. <laughs> and getting past the devastation of 2019. 2020 rocks. My whole life came together this year. I'm really humbled. All right, guys. Thank you. I love you. Praise be to you, Dave Ave for Yeshua Hamashiach.